deep in the mountains of Appalachia, spanning the North Carolina and Tennessee state lines, lies one of the most remarkable iron deposits in North America. The vein of iron, known as the Cranberry Vein, runs for 22 miles in a southwesterly direction and crosses into Tennessee at Hump Mountain. If you'd have visited the area 150 years ago, you would have found these mountains to be logged and pastured. But during the latter half of the 1800s, a new industry found its way into East Tennessee. An iron ore mine, operated here by the Crab Orchard Mining Company, was known as the Peg Leg Mine, and a spur of the East Tennessee and Western North Carolina Railroad Company serviced the area, carrying the raw ore to Cranberry, North Carolina for refining. Below where the mill now sits was a trip hammer forge, operated with a 500 pound hammer, which was connected to a now non-existent water wheel. The hammer was lifted up a few feet, tripped, and then fell on the ore, crushing it. Across the river from the hammer, a smelter sat which melted the ore by using charcoal from American chestnut trees. Ingots were made from the ore by pouring the hot ore into molds dug into the sand beside the river. A two-story commissary store sat where the modern-day mill now sits and dry goods and supplies were sold to the miners with sleeping quarters located on the second floor. Little remains of what was once a bustling center of activity in these mountains. As you walk the trail to the mine, you take a step back in time and reminisce on the lives of the folks that once worked the iron ore mines of these mountains. Viewing the impact that these miners had on the landscape of Appalachia, it is hard not to be impressed with the determination that they showed in helping to provide the iron necessary to forge the pathways deeper into Appalachia. Luckily, progress has passed this part of Appalachia by, and it is slowly being reclaimed by Mother Nature.